Are you in pain today? Every day. How do you deal with that? It's there. It's just a part of it now. Joey Eberlein's seat in life has been behind those drums ever since he was a kid. Only now, what was once intuitive takes focus. He once toured with Steve Miller, played for Peggy Lee, Chuck Berry, and Diana Ross. But now it's a struggle to keep time. His fills aren't as clean. Just minutes leave him exhausted. But Eberlein knows he's lucky to be alive after what happened to him on December 12th, 2018. One of the things we did was every year we would start collecting toys and games and clothing and we would find families in our community who needed help at Christmas. And I helped a father take things out to his car. And he turned around and gave me a big hug and he said, thank you so much, you've made our Christmas and God bless you. And I turned around and I went to cross the street to go back to the Legion and out of the blackness, I sense something was there. And like Superman, I put my hand out to whatever it was, it was a car with no lights and they were accelerating. And the driver hit me, flipped me into the windshield. I broke the windshield. That's the first time they knew I was there. They hit the brakes and that threw me nearly a half block in the air and I landed in the street. Long story short, I went into a coma and I was in a coma for 22 days. They told Leslie that he won't survive. So Leslie and started- And actually told your wife? He wouldn't survive. But he did survive, only to have to learn to talk again, to write, and more. I couldn't sit up in bed. I couldn't lift myself up. I could lay there and wait for a nurse to come back and change my diaper rearrange my pillow. I was totally on every support system they had. I couldn't do anything for myself. There were other injuries too that were just as devastating to him and his wife. Not physical, but financial. While I'm fighting for my life, she's fighting for our life. She's boxing up our 4,000 square foot home, all of my drums, all of my musical equipment, all of our antiques, finding places for our pets, putting our house on the market because we're being told we're gonna to have about $2 million in medical bills. We lost just about everything. We sold vehicles, we sold our house, we sold our musical equipment, whatever it took to survive. But instead of being bitter, depressed, Eberlein was the opposite. He's grateful, hopeful, and compelled to make a difference for others. So Joey, what, what has all this taught you? I guess we all face hardships and they're different for everybody. And it, it might be healthcare, it might be their family, it might be their marriages, their relationships, health. I have friends that are fighting cancer, friends that are fighting their, with heart problems, problems with their limbs, with their, everything you can imagine. The list, my prayer list gets longer and longer. Instead of focusing on what he's lost, he appreciates what he has. A loving wife and that seat behind those drums. I mean, how could I be sad? How, how could I be unhappy? How could I not think that you know, every day is the best day of my life. Every new day. You know, it's, it's, I couldn't ask for more than I've been given. 